Scientists say they're certain California will be rocked by a strong earthquake in the next 30 years. Fox 5's Maria Arcegadon is live at Mount Soledad with why the risk of a mega quake is more likely than previously thought. Maria. Well, Erica, you know, I'm standing on top of Mount Soledad. Most people don't realize that the San, uh, the Rose Canyon Fault, excuse me, zone is located right here, and it actually goes all the way down through the bay, and you can see all the homes down there as well. And the information in that report by the USGS is based on the information that one fault can cause others nearby to move, causing greater destruction. No matter where you live, Dr. Pat Abbott says everyone in California should live like it could be the day the big one hits. Earthquakes are coming. Think about it in advance and be prepared. A new report says California faces a greater than 99% chance of being rocked by a strong earthquake in the next 30 years. The report by the U.S. Geological Survey found that the odds of a magnitude 6.7 quake, similar in size to the 1994 Northridge disaster, was higher in Northern California than Southern California. But the odds of a mega quake increased in Southern California, jumping to 7% from 4.7%. Well, we now see that this, with this fault move, it, the energy could jump as much as seven miles away to make another fault move. That's on the surface, but they may be even closer together, you know, below the surface. So if you start factoring in that, that one big fault moving may cause another one to go, well, the more of them moving, they're all putting out energy. So in other words, that's why the big earthquake risk gets even higher. Thousands of quakes every year hit California, all between two major tectonic plates, the Pacific and the North American plates. Most are too small to be felt, but of all the faults that crisscross California, the Southern San Andreas Fault remains the most dangerous. We're trying to give people more of an idea about uh, frequencies within a 30-year period, a, a living period that you know all, all of us expect to uh, to experience. But it, don't get a false sense of security because it's a few miles away means you escape. No, because it's coming up from below and it's going to get you. So it's really all about odds. Now the report is a forecast. It is not a prediction. Scientists still can't predict exactly where or when a quake will hit anywhere in the world. That's the latest from Mount Soledad. I'm going to send it back to you, Erica, in the studio. Maria, thank you.